milk the brewery. As you can see behind me, I'm about to start kegging a beer I brewed last week. And the fact I brewed this beer last week is actually the reason I want to talk about a particular topic today. Um, so today, I just want to talk a little bit about yeast pitching rates and the impact they have on how your beer ferments. I need some notes for this. It's a little bit complicated. There will be a little bit of maths, but I'm going to try and keep it to a minimum. So, having done a little bit of research around talking to some of my friendly pro brewers that I know about how much yeast they pitch, I've got a couple of ways we can look at how much yeast we should be pitching and how much we are pitching into beer as home brewers. So, the more complicated way of looking at it is the number of million cells per milliliter we're adding into the yeast, into the wort. So, um, in this case, we're looking at ale fermentations only. I'm not thinking about lagers or anything complicated by that. And beer's probably below, up, up to about 1060 something, somewhere around that region. So, the Imperial Yeast site says you should be pitching 11 million cells per milliliter, whatever you're doing. Y yeast says 10 million a milliliter. Uh, at around 1061, 5 million a milliliter below that. All of these are estimated numbers. A lot of breweries will have a uh, number of million cells per milliliter uh, per degree Plato worked out, but I haven't been able to find any of those figures yet. So, taking the wide use figures, that means for a low gravity beer, we should be pitching about 100 billion cells into a homebrew batch and 200 billion into anything of a reasonable gravity. Um, so, to consider dry yeast, I'm going to stick with dry yeast today because it's a little bit easier. Um, it's often quoted that there are 20 billion cells per gram. This is a number that we believe, or I believe, comes from Jamil's Mr. Malty information, uh, but we don't seem to be able to source this uh, accurately from anywhere else. Some evidence seems to suggest that there's between 8 and 18 billion cells per gram, averaging about 10 for some um, microbiological research. And if you look at the Lalamond website, they claim 6 billion a gram. Now, the assumptions we make as homebrewers seem to have come off the Mr. Multi figures, off Jamil's figures, uh, that an 11 gram sachet gives us over 200 billion cells, which is plenty. But if we take Lalamond's figures, an 11 gram cell only gives us 66 billion cells, which is even less than the ale quantity. Uh, and given the experimental, maybe it gives us 100 billion, which is a low gravity figure, might be okay, probably is why it works for everybody. But I also thought we'd take this the other way around. So having talked to some pro brewers, uh, the ones running on five barrel kits tend to use a 500 gram packet of dry yeast per batch in a five, five barrel system in normal circumstances. Uh, and this works out to about 0.73 grams of dry yeast per litre. On a homebrew scale, an 11 gram batch works out to about 0.52 grams per litre, so we are pitching considerably less. Obviously, there's a lot of assumptions here. It's about, well, it's about 40% less, but there's a lot of assumptions here. So, what did I do with this beer and the two previous ones? Well, rather than pitching one sachet of yeast, I pitched two. This takes me to, uh, about one gram per litre, in fact, just slightly over one gram per litre of dry yeast in my batch, which once again, is about 40% more than most professional brewers use. Um, and what's happened? Well, the fermentations have got really fast. Uh, the last three batches have all fermented out in approximately a week. Um, this one is particularly exceptional and it's fermented out in just under a week to 1.02. 0 0.2, yeah, to a very low gravity, much lower than I was expecting, and I'm slightly concerned that I may now be massively over pitching. But I think it's interesting the fact that the amount of yeast has so much impact on your speed of fermentation, and it might be something for people to try, give it a go, see if it works for you. I'll be interested to see if it's just a, a freak of my equipment or it's something that everybody else experiences. So uh, that's it for today, I think. I'm now going to put this beer into that keg and put it in the kegerator. So I will see you in another video.